What's going on guys, Bobby here with another tutorial. So uh, today I'm going to show you how I edited this photo. Um, so basically two of my friends uh, made a rap together and they asked me if I could do a cover photo for them. So we went over to the beach and we took some pictures during the sunset and uh, the results are pretty good. So um, let me just quickly show you what I uh, ended up with. So as you can see, um, the pictures are pretty good in my opinion and uh, I'll just quickly show you the settings and then I'll um, give you some tips on how I edit it. So um, I shot this on a 5D Mark III, um, 1 200th of a second at f7.1 ISO 50 on the 85 1.8. So basically, I exposed for the background, and uh, because the background's really bright, I had to pop a flash onto my subjects in order to make them uh, exposed properly. So um, I brought a umbrella and had an assistant to hold the flash and umbrella on the stand, and basically just popped a flash on my subjects, and that's how I got both them and the background exposed. So um, I made some adjustments in Lightroom, so that's what I did. I made the pictures really yellow. Um, so um, I'll jump into Photoshop and uh, I'll give you some tips on how I edited it after I made the adjustments in Lightroom. So the first thing I want to show you is how I got rid of this thing, which is the umbrella. Um, the flash wasn't powerful enough, so the um, I had the assistant um, like go very close to the subject and the umbrella was in the shot so basically um, what I did is I imported another photo um, without the umbrella in it so basically all I had to do is create a mask and invert the mask by hitting command I and uh, basically all I had to do is use a brush and just brush it away and uh, kind of fix that and basically you got rid of the umbrella so uh, I'll just merge the layers and that's how I got rid of the umbrella really quick um, but if you don't um, have another photo that you can um, Put it over with. Um, you can also use the. Um, let me just go back. Um, you can uh, use the clone stamp tool. So I'll show you really quick. Um, usually, when I use a clone stamp, um, I create another layer. So let's go down to clone stamp and uh, press the option op option or Alt key and just sample sample a uh, spot. Um, and make sure this is set to current and below or all layers and then you're just gonna paint if you can't hear the noise it's actually a helicopter <laughs> but um, the clone stamp works um, almost as well as you can see so basically that works as well and uh, you probably want to take more time on that but basically that's how you that's another way of getting rid of the umbrella so um, yeah let me just merge the layers and so basically that, that those are the two ways of uh, you know getting on one of things so the second thing I want to show you is how I got rid of this flare. Actually, I didn't. I just left the flare on this one because my friend said uh, he liked it. He liked the style, but for this photo, as you can see, there's no flare on the pants. But um, 
when I go to the original photo, which is this one, um, there's, as you can see, there's a flare. So um, I'll show you how I got rid of that. So basically what I did is I used a technique called a uh, frequency separation. Basically, it's a trick for skin retouching, but in this case it also works. So basically what it is, it, it separates the texture from the color. So And then when you um, change the color, um, the texture won't be affected. So basically you want to duplicate your layer twice by pressing Ctrl J or Command J on a Mac. Okay, and you want to name the layer on the bottom low and the layer on the top high. You don't have to, but that's how everyone else does it. So let's shut the top one off and um, while you're on the lower layer, go to Blur, Gaussian Blur, and you just want to blur that um, a little bit until uh, there is, like, you can't really see the color. So somewhere around 6 pixels will work. And then when you go on the high layer, you want to change it to change the blend mode to linear light. Whoops. Sorry about that. And then you go to image, apply image, and then you set the layer to low. And you want to change the blending mode to subtract. Okay, and make sure the scale is 2 and the offset is 128. And then just click OK. And once you uh, toggle on and off the high layer, you'll see that it is. Um, it brings all the texture back. So um, now you have the texture layer which is high and the color layer which is low. So on the low layer basically you can just use the brush tool and you want to sample the color um, around um, around the flare. So press the option key to sample and you can just paint and make sure you sample frequently because the uh, the pants, let's just set the flow a little bit lower and so basically you're just painting away the redness and as you can see the texture is not affected and when I shut it off you know, oh, it's not affected so that's um, how I got rid of flare um, so there is another tip and make sure you sample frequently because if you just paint the whole thing this color um, as you can see over here is lighter so um, sample frequently and just take your time and you'll get a pretty good result so uh, let me get rid of that again so um, I'll just show you really quick how I um, changed the color a little bit because on on the uh, Lightroom edit um, the picture is really yellow I um, did that on purpose because I want to preserve the yellow in the sky but uh, in Photoshop as you can see the final image um, if I could find it it's a lot more um, blue well the shadows are blue so um, I'll show you how I usually um, color grade my image. So um, you want to create a layer mask, not a layer mask, sorry, an adjustment layer and go to curves. And this is basically what I use when I uh, color correct my picture. So I usually want to go down to blue uh, because I think the contrast is fine and so I don't touch RGB. So I'll go down to blue and for the shadows I pull it up and for the highlights, I pull it down. So um, when you go down, it gets uh, gets yellow, and when you pull it up, it gets blue. So already, um, just by doing two clicks, I already made a pretty big difference. So usually, um, when I do my photos, I like to um, have a little bit more blue in my shadows and a little bit yellow in my highlights. Um, if you look into uh, you know fashion magazines, that's usually how they color their photos. So, I'll just play around.
and how much you do it is up to you. Um, I kind of like to have a little bit more blue in the shadows so it looks a little bit more cinematic. And then after um, playing around with the blue, I go up to the red and see if I could do anything to the reds. Maybe have a little bit more magenta in the highlights. And for the green, um, maybe to have a little bit green in the shadows and some red in the highlights. So as you can see, the picture looks a lot better. Um, so um, what else did I do? Um, I, I think I did a gradient map. Um, so this is another way I how I um, color grade my pictures. So um, what you want to do is you select something with um, yellow or orange as the highlights and blue or purple as the shadows. Click OK and change the blending mode to overlay or soft light. And you just want to have a very small op opacity so it just makes the picture a little bit warmer so um, basically you know that's what I do to my photos I make a curves adjustment layer sometimes I, I'll do multiple uh, curves and then sometimes I'll do an adjustment map I mean gradient map sorry um, you know it's there are many ways to do this and here are just two ways you might not know this uh, before watching this video so now you know um, what else did I do? Um, I kind of played around with uh, selective color, but um, I'm pretty satisfied with what I have so far. So I'm just going to take a little bit red out because um, I think that's just a little bit more red than how I like it. But, you know, a lot of times, um, you know, there's no formula for what I do. You know, I just play around with the settings until I see what I like. So um, I'm not gonna do too much. But um, basically, if I group all these three together, if you want to group them, you can uh, press Control G or Command G, and that'll group them. So quickly toggling on and off the uh, color adjustments you'll see that it looks a lot better so uh, we sh uh, I showed you how I got rid of the umbrella I showed you how I got rid of the flare and I uh, showed you how I color correct so those are just some tips um, I want to show you guys um, another thing I want to show you is how I um, dodge and burn so uh, I think it's already pretty good, but I'll just show you how I dodge and burn. Um, usually, it's not a very good idea to just dodge and burn on the layer itself. Um, let me just go back because it is uh, it's destructive and you can't go back if you make a mistake. So, um, usually I create another layer and then you go to edit, fill, and fill it with 50% gray and click OK. And then you set the uh, blending mode to overlay. And now you can do your dodging and burning on this layer. And uh, so let's just quickly do some dodging and burning. Um, now this is a tutorial. Um, you're gonna take a lot more time on your photos. Um, so basically, I want to change this to highlights. You know, just to give it a little bit more contrast. Just go back, I didn't do it like that. Maybe just add a little bit more highlight on the shoe. Maybe a little bit here. So something like that, maybe make his face a little bit brighter. Just 
So you can toggle on and off the layer and see what you did. And then maybe do some quick burning. So something like that. Maybe add some highlights to the uh, wood. Something like that. And then you can toggle it on and off. Actually, when I look at it right now, it looks really ugly. Um, you should really take your time when you're doing your dodging and burning because uh, if you do it really quick like I did, it's going to look really bad. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to lower the opacity just to give it a little bit more um, interest. And the final thing um, is I kind of sharpened the photo. So you would just want to duplicate the layer again. It's Control J or Command J. Um, so on your new layer, go to Filter, Other, High Pass. And you want to choose a pixel of about, you know, two to five and just want to click OK and set the blending mode to overlay and when you zoom in um, let's just go down to this guy um, you toggle on and off you'll see it sharpens your photos so um, I don't want so much sharpening so I'm just gonna back it down a little bit but um, there it is that's the end result um, I'll just shut everything off and that is what we had in the beginning um, so this is actually a, in a, a file that I edited in Lightroom so the original photo looks even worse but um, this is what we have uh, right now so you know um, I got rid of all of the uh, umbrella I got rid of the flare um, well not in this photo but I showed you how to do it um, I showed you how I color correct and how I dodge and burn and how I sharpen my photos. So hopefully you can get something out of this uh, video. Um, maybe some of the stuff I showed you you didn't know, but now you know, and now you can use it in your uh, in your photos. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll post a video. Uh, vi uh, but I can't talk, um, it's really late, so, but anyways, thanks for watching, I'll make a new video very soon, so, uh, thanks for watching.